Welcome back to ETV. Hey, a couple of new remakes actually hit theaters this weekend. Time to find out if they're just as good or better than the originals. There's Sean McBride, the movie guy, to fill you in. Dancing among Beaumont's miners will be in violation of the law. If you want to go out and get some cheap thrills, you do it outside of Beaumont. Put on your Sunday shoes, because it's time to get loose. Footloose, the iconic teen dance rebellion picture, gets a remake with a new generation, stars, and music. What, you can't keep up? Now, I don't think that the Footloose remake has the new Kevin Bacon hiding out in its cast, and it's certainly not as notable as the original film, but it is a lot of fun. There's something undeniably appealing about a group of photogenic teen actors fighting for their right to shake a tail feather. I just want to do something big, you know? We need a little adventure. I'm doing a big year. The year to do all the things we never could. In the big year, Steve Martin Martin, Jack Black, and Owen Wilson play a trio of men who decide to take a year off and just follow their dreams. It's an adult existential crisis comedy aimed squarely at grown-ups. You know, the people who don't go to the movies anymore. 48 hours ago, we found a specimen. We estimate it's been here 100,000 years. Finally, another remake of sorts. This time, it's the prequel to John Carpenter's The Thing. The story of an Arctic exploration crew who stumble upon an extraterrestrial alien buried in the ice. Now, why remake a classic science fiction horror flick better special effects baby <laughs> and that's what's new at the movies this week i'm sean mcbride the movie guy for etv and sean mcbride the movie guy <laughs> joins us now yes it's time to get loose foot loose hey look um foot loose I, I don't think there was a real reason to remake that but let's just quickly review it by saying you can't go wrong with, you know, good looking teens dance and it's a dance movie, it's a solid story, it's fun, it's not any better than the original film. Right. Certainly, you're not going to see someone break out like Kevin Bacon did. But, uh, hey, you know, Footloose for a new generation, check it out. Sounds good. Okay, uh, let's move over to uh, the flicks. They've got two new films this week. Uh, they have Love Crime with Kristen St Scott Thomas, sort of a French murder mystery. Uh, but also Higher Ground with Vera Farmiga. Uh, this is her new one. It's sort of a, 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 a look at religion and feminism. And it's her you know, di directorial debut. She's very good in it. So uh, Higher Ground is the one that we should cover. Uh, and quickly, over on home DVD, we have the Green Lantern, but yeah, don't skip that one. Horrible Bosses, a lot of fun, and The Tree of Life, a film that a lot, I think a lot of people will be talking about come Oscar time. It's sort of a very polarizing movie you want to check out. So, home DVD, that's my favorite. And local theater? There's a, there's a lot of stuff going on in local theater at the moment. The new one this week is something called Evil Dead the Musical. That just makes me laugh. Uh, it <laughs> makes me laugh, yeah. too. Evil Dead the, the movie, right? You know, I mean, we, we know this, the Army of Darkness series. Right. Uh, uh, they turned this into a musical. I need to point out to you that this is not a musical for the whole family, okay? <laughs> this is a, I mean, it's about zombies. It's about kids that head off into a cabin in the woods and the, the zombies attack. And, you know, so there are flying heads. There's a lot of profanity, uh, a lot of drinking. And it is, it is an adult-level music. I would like to see this but one. But that being said, it's got some very funny song lyrics in it. Uh, just a wonderful um, a cast. It's just, just a lot of fun. Evil Dead the Musical opens up as part of Daisy's Madhouse theatrical uh, season here. That's playing at the Idaho Outdoor Association. That's at 3401 Brazil. Um, and you can get tickets at 995-0088 or daisysmadhouse.org. Evil Dead Musical, what can I say? You just gotta see that. So. All right, also opening this week, The Butler Did It over at the Boise Little Theater. Um, that is a farce, and that is running for the next three weekends. You can get tickets and information, 342-5104, or go to boiselittletheater.org. Um, second weekend for Rocky Horror Show, which I got the chance to see this past weekend. And you go there, and it's, it's just a lot of fun because they will sell you all the props. So, for example, if it rains... You can, uh, you know, take care of the rain and stuff. And there's the noisemaker and all that fun stuff. Uh, it's a little packed. It's like an extra five bucks. But certainly, there, you know, the reason to see Rocky Horror has always been the audience. We had a great audience, including some, some little old ladies that had no idea what they were getting into. It was, it was a lot of fun. So Rocky uh, Horror Show, uh, second weekend. Uh, don't forget, this is the weekend they're starting the midnight performances as well. So every Saturday night, this is a midnight performance. But that's Stagecoach Theater. They're in a new temporary home, 710 North Orchard. Uh, get tickets and information at 342-2000 or stagecoachtheater.com. Are you done with the rain? Uh, maybe later. We'll get some more. So. Shipwrecked over at Boise Contemporary Theater. Uh, that runs through the 29th. That is bctheater.org, 331-9224. Oklahoma over at Knock'em Dead Theater. 
That also runs through the 29th. Tickets information at 385-0021 or kedproductions.org. And finally, Twilight over at Prairie Dog Theater. Uh, that also runs through the 29th. Tickets information at pdplayhouse.com or at 336. So there you go. Evil Dead, though, and uh, Rocky, Rocky Horror. Horror. Yay! Go check them out. <laughs> Thanks so much, Sean. It sounds like a great week for, for local theater. A lot of stuff. Yeah. Perfect. Well, speaking of local stuff, HGTV actually came into town and uh, was working on their show house showdown. We had a chance to talk with their host, and that's all coming up next as ETV continues.